Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Ethan, welcome back to a, another GTA 5 video. Uh, I probably will do some Skyrim videos today, but today, uh, well, this video is just GTA 5, and I'm going to be showing you a bunch of my garages and pretty much everything I own before I sell a uh, small chunk of it to uh, invest in my nightclub. I've got like dry ice dancers to go, the upgrades, and upgrading those three delivery vehicles too, and then I'm pretty much done on my nightclub. So I think the first thing we should check out is my office garage. So let's head there quickly. Almost there guys. Very quick in this car. I did not hit that woman, what the hell, she faked that, she faked it. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are in level 1, uh, here, are, oh, here is my car collection. First of all, we've had the Deluxo, oh, don't, well, I don't know to see why he dropped his helmet, but here though, you can see the Deluxo here, um, not going to sell this one, it's got a nice drift plate on the back, you guys can just about see that, um, probably the first, uh, yeah, the first car I bought, and then the, probably the Windsor livery was the, uh, the one after, but this was the very first car I bought, it used to be an orange, and then it went from blue and red, to now, like, greenish, yellowish, it's, it's, I don't even know what this colour is, but it's really nice. As you can see, you, you've seen this in a video um, before. And then we've got my, probably spent three million or more on this low rider here. I did have another one just here, it was blue, but you guys have already seen that. And I wanted to buy the nightclub, so I sold it. But yeah, you guys have seen that. If you don't know, watch the Cargo Bob Picks Up Low Rider 1, that is my blue low rider. Hello, this is Morse. I'll do my best. Just, uh, just watch that and you'll see what it's like. Here's my other low rider. So I think we can go first person here. Yeah, here we are. It's quite nice. It's got max everything. Everything is completely maxed out on all these cars at the bottom. It's from everything to armour to to uh, special upgrades that only that vehicle can have to Engine upgrades, everything is fully maxed out. Finally, the APC, uh, not finally, sorry, uh, the APC is next. I don't know if you've seen this before, but yes, it does go uh, on the water. It can actually be submerged underwater and it'll be fine. It's got a cannon on the top, which I need to upgrade it to the, uh, the uh, missiles. But again, you only get 60, and if any kind of noob or anyone gets in the vehicle that doesn't know it has 60 rockets, they're most likely just going to shoot them because it's fun, and then I'll run out. So I'm just going to keep that for now. And another one that you've seen is the Insurgent Pickup Custom. You turret on the top, everything again is fully maxed out, except it doesn't have proximity mines because I haven't unlocked them yet. Uh, it's a bit of a strange option, but it actually looks, I think it looks quite good with the uh, money, money wheels. <laughs> Everyone's got to love the money wheels, right? So that is the first level. So let's go to the second one. As you can see, I've maxed out. This place too, got a lovely chandelier just up there. Uh, you've got uh, these plaques on the wall and a lovely sort of wall theme, whatever, marble themed wall, very nice. Next up we have the Karuma, which I've recently changed colours. It used to be like blue and yellow and green and oh man, it was pretty crazy. But now it's just a simple, complete red and white colour. Uh, if you don't know this car, it uh, can be unlocked by doing a heist, or it could be in the trade price can be unlocked, and it's just one of the most bulletproof cars in the game. Really good, and then probably the next best bulletproof car in the game for passengers is uh, is uh, the Duco Death, which I was going to pay like five or six hundred k for, but then I joined Rockstar and I uh, got it for free. It's got the nice Halloween horn on it. I think that's still out actually, for some reason. The next car is another bulletproof one, it is the Shafter in Shafter Purple. 
and like this blue colour. Uh, I think it's gasoline, gasoline green actually. Again, this is this is bulletproof. <laughs> it's actually it's actually really cool just being shot at and obviously not dying. Uh, it's quite fast to be honest. It can take a, a one explosive, and that's really cool. <clears throat> of course, everyone has to have one of these. It is the uh, <laughs> LG. That's it, LG. Not the custom one, just LG. This thing which I got for free, <laughs> so I just modded it out. I don't even know. It's not even that good. I don't really use it a lot. And then uh, I need to change colours of this, uh, the Dubster 6x6. I need to change it to like, some army green or just like ice white or something like that. And then the next one that's kind of similar is the Mesa here in quite cool colour theme. There we are. I spent like 300k on this outfit altogether because... I mean, it was probably gonna be like 200k, but I accidentally uh, bought two of two helmets. Or well, I bought one, and then I decided I didn't like it, and this one went back with the outfit. So this was a very expensive outfit. This I get criticised on this quite a lot, but it's really nice, and the colour is because uh, it can't really go up uh, curbs and it can't drift. <laughs> so you got to really slow down when you turn. But here's a cool, unique, fun to drive car. Is the Raptor. BF Raptor, that's it. <clears throat> and then we've got the BF Bifter, uh, sort of like a dune buggy here. Um, we've got this fully customised Nagasaki Street Blazer um, when Biker update came out. Really nice. This thing can do wheelies like crazy. Let me show you guys. I don't know if this guy's trying to kill me behind me, but there is a helicopter. Right. I think he's coming for me, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that was all about. Uh, my level is 289, if you guys want to know that too. My vehicle is for some reason smoking, I'm not sure why it's smoking here. That confuses me. Hi, what service are you looking for? Okay, okay, I'll get you out of trouble. No problem. So that's this vehicle, the Nagasaki Street Blazer. Really nice, there is a, so I think there's like two street blazers, so don't get confused. You want to get the street blazer. <clears throat> uh, super cool looking, Some it's real mad quad bike, you should get it, it's just fun to drive. You can come off it fairly easily, so be careful. Uh, awesome drift car here, <laughs> I just, I just uh, customised the colour and I just, I just loved it. The uh, nice metal colour, the sort of metal looking car. Uh, oh, <laughs> all cars are metal, but like you see where the grey bit is, it just looks really nice. It looks like sort of armour plating around the wheels. Obviously it's like red, black, grey looks really nice. I don't know, some people have said this kind of colour that I picked was Dragon's Breath. I didn't know it had a name, I just thought it was a nice colour. And it is the Porsche, also known as the Pifta, Pifta Comet. Uh, here we got the Buffalo Sprunk or something like that, Bravado Sprunk, and of course the, what is it, Romeo? Yeah, Romeo Hearse. Also got a Halloween horn. If you don't know how to get this, you can always watch a tutorial. Uh, they're not too difficult, but yeah, you can actually own a hearse. Hearst? Hearse? I don't know. Oh, so yeah, let's go to our next garage now and let's actually drive there in this thing because this is just fun as hell. Hopefully that guy isn't, is not waiting outside and wants to kill me. So, um, we can now go to my hangar. Yeah, let's go to the hangar. Oops.
I'll zoom out for you guys. This thing's fairly fast as well. Oh no. Awful driving by me. <laughs> as you can see, it says Raptor just at the side there. I thought that was a really nice feature. Uh, it's in also it's, it's written in my secondary colour as well, which is cool. Then I'm going to show you my facility and maybe my bunker if I have time. Maybe we'll make another video after. But yeah, for, I've sold my low rider. I'm um, probably not going to sell the other one. I'm probably going to sell my Kanjali tank. Um, because the Kanjali I don't really use. If I ever use it, it's just to sort of show off or have a bit of fun with, which is not often. Or if I want to do... Um, most wanted without af, uh, without with just like I go AFK in that thing, and they just can't shoot through or penetrate it, blow it up, whatever. And so it actually doesn't get used quite a lot, believe it or not. So I might sell that because I'm guessing that's going to give me a big chunk of money because the that Kanjali tank, that's like three million dollars I spent on it or something like that. I'm not sure, I think this car came out in the bikers update, I'm not too sure. You should also be able to store your cars in here, just like one or two cars. But, oh well. So here is my hangar. First of all, we have this amazing plane. Personally, I think it's better, or just as good as the Hydra. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what the hell? How is this thing better than the Hydra? Well, let me tell you. It's got a tighter turning circle, can easily get behind the Hydra. You can pin it down with its rockets that spray const like spray one after each other. There's no cooldown, pretty much no cooldown on the rockets. And then when the Hydra's pinned down, if you're good enough, simply shoot it with these six mounted machine guns on the wing. And it's got flare, so there's no uh, of that uh, flying around in circles trying to avoid them. And if you're going at a certain angle and fast enough, the rocket just won't be able to catch up to you. So a very nice vehicle here, or plane, should I say. I love the paint job on it too with the mouth. It's really cool. And then, of course, we have the actual Hydra in gold here. <clears throat> very nice. It has VTOL mode, so... You don't know what that is, you can just basically fly straight up, it's like a, like a hover. And then boost off, um, really nice, nothing really much to show you about it. And then this plane which everybody gets when they buy a hangar, I've just decided to make mine look some like stealth army green one and added some uh, cluster bombs onto it, yeah cluster bombs. <laughs> this thing is cool, the bombing's very hard in this game though. Of course we have the buzzard, i uh, put it in lime green and yellow bird I think it is, which has changed. It used to be called dew yellow, now it's like yellow bird on most vehicles. Some vehicles it hasn't actually changed though, which is strange. The dodo, which I actually spent 500k on, then I realised you can actually get it for free when you join the Rockstar Club. So I'm a bit annoyed about that, you can't actually sell these vehicles either. You can sell the new ones like uh, the Narcota and this one that I'm about to show you which is, so basically helicopters and planes in the update, but this is the attack Akula stealth helicopter. This thing's just a beast, so this is my hangar overall. I'll fly to next location in that, actually. Obviously you can go in stealth mode for an unlimited amount of time as long as you have the rockets away. This thing also has bombs on it, which I always forget about. And of course I've upgraded it to have the double mounted machine gun on the bottom. This has homing missiles and overall it just a, it's a really nice look. I love it. Uh, it's the, the dark red and the black. This hangar is also fully maxed out. With the lights, the livery, the living quarters in modern. Just up here. And finally... The office in modern, which I kind of wanted to change to the other one, the, like, the brownish wooden one. 
I don't know. I can't think. I don't really. Not really bothered now because I don't really use my hanger for business that much. But here it is. So let's go down here and let's grab a Hydra because that's probably the quickest uh, plane I've got. Or the Narcota. Let me see how many players there are that might take me down. Absolutely none. Let's go in the Hydra. And let's go to, I think we'll stop at the bunker first and then we'll make our way to the facility, which will be our final stop. And then maybe I'll show you guys my nightclub when I get it maxed out. There seems to be a small target on the map. Fairly close to me, so I'm gonna see if I can take him out real quick. Uh, not too sure what the little target means. It's probably something to do with the nightclub DLC. Uh... Oh, he's delivering people. There we go, two grand. Two grand, I think he was delivering a celebrity to his nightclub. <laughs> oh well. We're not having any competition when it comes to nightclubs, guys. Mine is the best end of. I actually really wish I did a playthrough on this game, but it's kind of too late now, there's no point. And servers, I don't know if the servers are going to get shut down actually. I can imagine they'll be shut down so everyone moves on to the next GTA, so there's no point starting now as this is probably one of the last kind of updates. Getting near the end now. Where am I going? I'm going to my facility for some reason. Right, bunker. There's nothing special in the bunker, I just want to show you my upgrades. Maybe we go to the shooting range as well. I love doing that <laughs> manoeuvre in uh, cinematic mode. <laughs> it's so cool. It should just drop now to be honest, there we go. Also, a little tip, when you land and your, uh, your tide just starts moving, just simply put it back in, uh, in your normal takeoff mode and it'll just stop still, to stop all that moving around while you're trying to land in hover mode. So this is my bunker. I can't actually believe I've boarded all of this, because on 360 I remember I was uh, really poor, I couldn't wait till I got that two grand uh, good behaviour bonus. I can't. I used to just rob shops, and I always wanted a Chrome Zentorno. That's probably why that was the first vehicle I ever bought on uh, in this because I just longed for it for so long. So let's get a buggy here and drive around this place. I don't know if you've seen this in a video. I know you have seen an MOC video, but I don't think mine was in it. But this is my personal mobile op operation center fully maxed out here except that it hasn't got the two cannons on the back which I can buy I just don't want to because I don't really use this thing a whole lot and I've got better things to spend my money on I'll show you the interior as well the interior is real nice and I'll also show you my custom weapons uh, and that'll be the end of the video and then I'll show you my facility in another video for some reason I can't enter inside I think it's because my buggy's too close Strange. Doesn't want to let me in. I don't like this glitch. This is annoying. It's not letting me in my facility. A uh, facility. My MOC. I want to get in it as well. I, I actually want to get in it. Let's take it outside and then try. In fact, I'll end the video here. 
and then next video we can we can, it can be a bit longer because I'll show you the bunker in that as well. So see you next video, guys.